In today's video, I'll show you how to add frequently bought together products on Shopify using the Essential Upsell and Cross-Sell app. Once you've installed the app from the Shopify Marketplace, go to the app and click on Create Offer. Here, you'll see two placement options, Product and Cart Pages. I'll demonstrate using the product page type, but the process is the same for the cart page, so feel free to select whichever works best for you. First, we're in the Content tab where you'll start by choosing your offer type. Since we're bundling products, we'll use the Frequently Bought Together option. The Offer Name field allows you to label your upsell funnel for easy reference. It's only visible to you, so keep it simple. In the Content tab, you can modify the title text, which displays above the app block. Button text could also be customized. Be sure to include Total and Compared At wording to display the total offer price and compared at price. Once you're happy with these changes, Let's move to the Offer section. Here, you can set the conditions that will trigger your upsell. You can select all products, specific products, or products in specific collections. I'll go with all products. Next, choose which items to upsell. This could be specific products that align with your goals or frequently bought together items, recommended by Shopify's Search and Discovery app. The final offer feature allows you to apply a discount to the upsold item automatically. You can set this discount as either a percentage or a fixed amount and adjust the value as needed. Once finished, let's move to the design section. Here, you'll find extensive options to customize the design so the upsell fits your store's look and feel. You can select one of our pre-designed templates or fully customize the app yourself, adjusting each parameter to match your style. Whether you're building the design from scratch or just tweaking an existing template, it's all here. The design section is modular, so you can adjust the card design, including parameters like spacing, border size, and color. Typography options allow you to set the font if you don't want to use your theme's default font, as well as sizes and colors for different elements. You can also personalize button and checkbox settings. I'm happy with the pre-designed template, so I'll move straight to the placement section. In placement, not much is needed. Simply click Publish, which also saves all your changes. Once published, you can preview it on your store by clicking this button. If you would like to reposition the upsell on your product page, go back to the app, open the Placement tab, and click the Reposition with App Block button. This opens your theme editor, where you can simply drag and drop the app block from the left panel to adjust its position. Thank you for watching. If you run into any issues, Feel free to reach out, we're here to help right away.